You're watching the Channel 4 News at 11. Well, video games have been around for just about a generation now, and some of those first-generation gamers are all grown up, and they're trying to transfer the excitement of those games into real life with something they call Street Wars. And Paul Moyer shows us how. I might spot you from there. Oscar Perez is undercover, but he's not a cop, he's not a private eye, or even a criminal. I wear the tie, so I blend in. Perez is a contestant in an elaborate stalking game taking place in Los Angeles. It's tagged for adults. Yeah. The game is called Street Wars, yeah. the brainchild of this man who calls himself the mustache commander. But Yu Tai Liao is really just a guy with a Peter Pan complex. When we were young, a lot of us would go home and we'd play cowboys and Indians, cops, uh, cops and robbers, or play secret agents. And um, some of us just never quite signed a contract that said, if you grow up and get a job, you're not supposed to do that anymore. Liao and his friend, the self-proclaimed Supreme Commander, created Street Wars so they could hang on to the thrill of the chase. Through their website, they sign up players in a particular city at 35 bucks a head to stalk and be stalked for three weeks. When the game starts, they will receive a package containing the instructions, the player ID card, a paper dossier containing the photo, the work address, home address, phone number, and email of the person they are supposed to go after. Three weeks of lurking in the shadows. Three weeks of looking over shoulders. Three weeks of paranoia in a fantasy game of assassination. Just add water. The weapons in this war are water balloons and squirt guns. Players score a kill when they get their targets wet. You have to be really uh, crafty to get a lot of these people because they're waiting for you. But the wait doesn't always produce results. Perez spent nearly two hours in this North Hollywood parking garage hoping his target would show up. Maybe he's at his house. Nope, not there either. Not during the day or when he returned later on that night. Discouraged but not defeated, Perez headed home. That's fine. I've got finals Monday and Tuesday over at UCLA. So, is Street Wars just harmless fun? or a glorification of violence? That is a question its creator gets often. I like to challenge the idea that people think that this is somehow glorifying murder because I think a lot of us just want to spend our life as if we were in an action movie. After three weeks, the last dry person standing wins a gilded frame water gun and some cash. And of course, the envy and respect of all the peers. <laughs> this is Paul Moyer for the Channel 4 News. <laughs> That's kind of look fun, doesn't it? Okay, street wars or water gun wars, whatever you want to call it, has been played in New York, San Francisco, Vancouver, and elsewhere. Just ended here in Los Angeles, but the organizers hope to bring it back again next year.